Hi students, my name is Mrs. Mukta Kothari. I am working as an assistant professor at Modern College of Art, Science and Commerce, Shivaji Nagar, Pune. Today I am going to talk about different types of A according to the amount of yolk, the distribution of yolk and the presence or absence of shell. So let us begin with our lecture. We all know that egg cells are female gamete and uh, this female gamete it contains haploid nucleus, oplasm, egg cell membrane and some other membranes which will be surrounding this egg cell membrane. Inside the oplasm there is yolk and this yolk it plays a very important role during the development of an embryo. This yolk it is nothing but a reserve food material which will provide nourishment to the developing embryo. Now as you can see in the presentation slide the classification, the first classification, it is based on the amount of yolk. If you consider the amount of yolk inside the egg cell, there are mainly four types. That is acetyl type of eggs. Then second is microlacetyl type of eggs. Third is mesolacetyl type of eggs. And the fourth one is mega, macro or polylacetyl type of eggs. Here the lacetyl word means yolk. So if I am going to take into consideration the first type that is a lecithal type of X. Here A means not and lecithal means yolk. So if the yolk is totally absent from the egg cell, there is absence of yolk in the egg cell. That means these type of X will come under the a lecithal type of X. The best example it is eutherian mammal X. So eutherian mammals which are also known as placental mammals. And because they have placenta, which can, uh, through which the nourishment can be provided to the developing embryo, so they do not actually require the yolk. Now, the second type, it is the microlacetyl type of X. And here, the micro means again, small amount, and the lacetyl means yolk. So, if the amount of yolk, it is very small, which can be negligible, so those type of eggs will be known as microlacetyl type of eggs. This type of eggs also known as oligolacetyl type of eggs and the example of this type of eggs is amphioxus or tunicates. The third type of eggs on the basis of amount of yolk are mesolacetyl type of eggs. Here meso means moderate and lacetyl means yolk. So if the egg contains moderate amount of yolk, those type of eggs will be known as mesolacetyl type of eggs. Now, the example is amphibian eggs. The fourth type, it is the macro or which is also known as mega or which is also known as polyracetyl type of eggs. So here macro means large, mega means again large and poly is also large and lacetyl of course a yolk. So the amount of yolk it is very high or the amount of yolk present inside the egg cell is large then those type of eggs will be known as megalacetyl, macrolacetyl or polylacetyl type of eggs. The example are reptilian eggs, avian eggs are the best example of the megalacetyl type of eggs. Please do remember that here we are comparing the amount of yolk with the amount of cytoplasm which is present inside the egg cell. So if I am considering microlacetyl egg, here the amount of yolk it is very small as compared to the amount of cytoplasm which is present inside the egg cell. The second classification of egg cell it depends on the distribution of yolk. So according to the distribution of yolk there are mainly three types that is isolacetyl or homolacetyl second is centrolacetyl and the third one is telolacetyl egg. Now isolacetyl or homolacetyl eggs have uh, generally they have very small amount of yolk and which is evenly distributed throughout the egg cell. Best example is amphioxus egg along with that mammals and echinoderms they also show this type of egg. Then the second type it is the centrolacetyl egg. As the name suggests the yolk it is placed at the center of the egg cell. And there will be a thin layer of cytoplasm which will be surrounding this centrally located yolk. Now example for this type of eggs it is orthropods and the some cell entrates they also show the central acetyl type of eggs. The third type according to the distribution of yolk it is 
telolysical egg. Telo means at one end. So in this type of egg, the yolk is present at one end of the egg cell. The end where the yolk is present, that is the vesicle pole and the opposite end, it is considered as animal pole. Now, as you can see in the presentation slide, there are three subtypes of the telolysical eggs. That is slightly telolysical, moderately telolysical and extremely telolysical. So slightly telolysical eggs, they generally have small amount of yolk, but that is unevenly distributed. So here the vesicle pole will have maximum yolk, whereas the animal pole will have lesser yolk. And the example is fish egg. Then the second type, it is the moderately telolysical type of egg. Here, the amount of yolk, it is moderate, but again, it is unevenly distributed. Here, the vesicle hemisphere will have maximum yolk, whereas the animal hemisphere will have lesser yolk. The example is amphibian egg cells. And the extremely telolysical eggs, here, what happens, there is a large amount of yolk is present in this type of egg cell. And because of this large amount, the vesicle hemisphere, it is totally occupied with the yolk. Not only that, but the animal hemisphere, it is also almost occupied with the yolk. And because of this, what happens, whatever cytoplasm, small amount of cytoplasm will be there, that will be pushed towards the animal pool. So it will appear as just a disc of cytoplasm, okay? And these type of eggs will be known as extremely telolysical eggs. So the example, it is the reptilian or the avian eggs. The third type of classification of egg, it depends on the presence or absence of shell. Basically, there are two types, that is cladoic egg and non-cladoic egg. Cladoic egg, they will show the presence of thick and hard shell as the outermost membrane, which will provide the protection to the egg cell. Now this shell, it will be permeable to the gases as well. Example is birds, reptiles, prototherian mammals, and insects. Second type, it is non-cleroic eggs. Non-cleroic eggs, they will not show the presence of the thick and hard outermost layer of shell, but instead of that, their membranes are soft in nature. So the example, it is all the viviparous animals and also the oviparous animals which will lay their egg in the water. Thank you for your patient listening. If you like my video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Please share my video with others as well. Thank you so much.